If you have a Mac and you have photos on your Mac, you have the ability to add text directly to those photos as well as to crop, add shapes, and even add hand-drawn text and images with an additional iPad using software that's already on your computer. Let me show you how in today's quick tip video. We'll go in here and open up Apple's photos. I have a folder with four photos ready to go. Once you have your photos on here, double tap on your photo, and then the top right corner, you're gonna click on the edit button. Now it's not obvious in here, but if you slide over, this circle with the three dots is for extensions. If you tap on it, it'll have different extensions you have plugged in, but one of the ones that should be there is markup. When you tap on markup, now you can see your image on the screen and you have these different options up here. One of these is a text box. If you tap on it, text will appear on screen. You can drag it to where you can see it, double tap, and then enter your text. For this one, I wanna say, Turkey Run State Park Five Mile Challenge 2023. And I can drag that on here and that's ready to go. Let's say I wanna change the font. You go up here to the text options. It's not really full feature, but it gives you some basics. So you click on this and you can add any font you have on your computer you can put into what you're doing. Unlike some other apps in the Mac, you don't get a preview, you just get a list of all the text. So you have to know which one you want to use when you're already in here. If you go in and, and pick what you're gonna use, make sure you have the text selected. If you don't see a change, that means you went through and didn't select it. Now it's ready to go. You can't change line spacing. You can make it more bold if you want to. Uh, this little box here let you change the color. And you can go through, and let's say I want to match that with uh, the color of the rocks below. And so if I click show colors, I can then use the eyedropper tool and go over here and pick up the color of the rock. And now that blends in a little bit more to the picture. When you're all done, click save changes and click done. And now you've added text to your photo in Apple photos, but there's more you can do. Let's say on this image, I want to use this for an Instagram story. So I need to crop it to nine by 16 and I want to add text to it. The first thing you do is go up to the right and click edit. And you're going to choose the crop option here in the top. It has a pre-select for 16 by 9, which is the right dimensions. If your crop looks like this, then it's pre-selected for landscape. Just go over and click the vertical for portrait. And then you can move your photo back and forth. You can zoom in and out. I want to make sure all these buses are shown in some way. So we're going to drag it over and choose our extensions and go into markup. Again, we have our text tool, we'll tap on that, drag it where we can see it. Type in whatever it is we want it to say. And now for this one, we wanna go up and choose a bright yellow, like a parking lot might be. We're gonna drag this in a little bit. We have those three lines of text here on the ground, drag it down to the bottom, and then we'll click Save Changes and done, and now we could export that and it would be the correct dimensions and it would show up really well to use on your Instagram story. Now, if you wanna do an Instagram post or Facebook post, something where you have a square photo, then you go into edit and choose crop. And this time you would choose a square feature instead of 16 by nine, it would automatically get the right dimensions. Again, drag it how you want it to be and go over to extensions and markup. We can add that text again This time we want to add a few more things to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our text options. We're gonna go in here and choose something uh, just a little bit different because we're doing this photo. Uh, we'll make it bigger. So under here you would go in and you can either just use the arrows. You could also type in your size if you want to. And we want the color to match the part of the building there. So we're gonna go down to show colors, choose our eyedropper tool, grab the orange off the building. And it'd be nice if that was shadowed, so it'd be easier to see. And we can't do that in here, but what you can do is tap on your, select your text, do edit, copy, edit, paste. With the original text, grab it and change it to black. Then grab the new one you added and drag it over top. And you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to adjust it to where it looks right. Now we also want them to know where to enter when they get to this building. 
So you can add shapes. We can go in here and choose our shape tool. We're gonna to choose a rectangle. We're gonna drag it right by these doors so they know where to enter. We're gonna go here and make it a little bit thicker. It actually has a shadowed tool at the bottom. And we want to make it look like we sketched it. So we're gonna choose this kind of chalk look here. If you don't like that, you just simply tap it again to remove it. Then we want to add an arrow, which it had on here. So we'll bring our arrow in. We'll make this towards the bottom. We can drag these and it will spin around. And now it's all ready to go. Click Save Changes. And that's ready to share on our social media. Last thing I want to show you is a cool feature called Continuity Markup. If you have an iPad, and you have a Mac, you can use them together to do something pretty cool. Say we have this photo from a concert. We wanna show where it was at and where we are in the crowd. So we go in here and choose Edit, our extensions again, and again, choose Markup. There's a little icon here to connect to our iPad. We'll check on it, it turns blue. And now on my iPad, it brings up that image. And if I have my Apple Pencil, I can go in there and choose my different tools so I can choose the marker, choose how thick it is, choose what color it is. Then I can actually write on here, text, so it has a little bit of a nostalgic look. And the other thing I can do is I can also add drawings. Right? I can use the same kind of thing. So let's say I want to show where in the crowd I'm at. I can draw that circle. My editing is done. And then I simply tap done, the top right corner of my iPad. And now those changes have been saved to my photo. Over here in the Mac, I can simply click Save Changes and Done. And now my photo's all ready. And that's how you add text, crop and add text, add shapes, and even use your iPad for continuity markup with photos on your Mac. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to know more about the videos that we're doing, please subscribe to join our community. That helps me out a ton as a creator. Also, you can hit that bell for notifications and know when new content comes out. And if you want to connect with me outside of YouTube, my social media handles are on there for Instagram, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. And if you really like this video and watch more content, there are two videos on the side you can click on and watch as well. And let me know in the comments if you have a question or another video you'd like to see. The comments are where I get ideas for future videos to be able to answer your questions and more than just a text answer. In fact, this video today was a way to answer a question in a better way than just trying to type it all out. So let me know and maybe I'll answer one of your questions in a future video.